A new statewide project wants to keep seniors from getting scammed. The elderly are common targets of scams, fraud, and bad deals. A nonprofit group is sounding the alarm, going to senior centers, libraries, and anyone else who's interested. It's called Senior Citizen Money Project, and it includes an hour-long DVD alerting seniors about the dangers. Tony Leahy is the executive director of SENSE, the group behind this project. SENSE stands for Consumer Education and Training Services. I'm glad you guys are doing it because we cover these stories all the time. How bad is the problem? I'm sad to report that it's an epidemic. Um, there's an article in the AARP that reports that $2.6 billion are swindled out of senior citizens every year by scammers. So what are the most common types of scams targeting seniors? There's two types. There's what I call quick strike sc scams, where um, a, a scammer will, through email or mass mailings or telemarketing phone calls, um, lull a victim into, like, you've won a sweepstakes, you know, send in money, and there's no prize. So a senior will send in money and not receive any prize or something like that. We've heard of grandkids scams that fall into that category. Someone calls up, says, hi, I'm your grandchild. They have information on the grandchild. Send me money. I'm in jail. I need to get out of jail, that sort of thing. Exactly. Those are right. quick strike, easy money scams. Then there's high persuasion scams where a scammer may try to get a senior to invest in a bogus product. You know, and these can be for thousands of dollars, things like gold coins or getting a senior to take out a large reverse mortgage and use that on an investment opportunity that's not really a good investment opportunity. So what will seniors learn from this DVD that you guys are producing now? We try to, our mantra for the video is think before you ink. And what that means to us is you take the time to make an informed decision. In the video, it goes through three topics. The first is reverse mortgages and equity, equity decisions. How do you, you know, make a wise decision when you're dealing in that area? The second breaks down all these scams and frauds, what to expect and kind of how to counteract them. And then the third is how to protect your personal information, how to be on the computer safely, and then how to plan for your future so you're not victimized as you get older. Yeah, that computer thing is tough for a lot of people as they get older because it's always changing and keeping up with technology can be challenging for seniors. And there are a lot of scams online, as we know, especially when it comes to identity fraud. Right. So what can I tell my aging relatives if I'm concerned about them so that they don't become a victim? Well, first, you might want to create a system where they can go to you or a trusted financial professional or an attorney. If they have a, a situation involving money, they can kind of double check their, their process. The second thing is you, you want them to, we try to teach people to not think like a victim. Victims, when they receive an offer, they think, oh, how is this going to make me money? And we want to flip that thinking mm -hmm. to how can this possibly be a scam or a bad deal? So, you know, rather than being overly trusting of telemarketing phone calls, unsolicited emails, unsolicited mailings, we want to flip that and it's okay to, you know, use a little bit of healthy skepticism when you're dealing with your money. So let's take that a step further because I like where you're going with this. If I'm talking to my elderly relative and I think mm -hmm. they are too trusting, mm -hmm. how can I encourage them to think before they ink using your line? Right. Well, one is we, you know, because we, we don't want to turn people into cynics, but, right. what, but we want, when it involves your money, it's okay to put on that hat, you know, put on that critical thinking hat and, and just be a little bit more, you know, skeptical, a little bit more, have a show me attitude, you know, rather than just believe what it says, ver have it verified. If, uh, you know, if, if maybe a friend or relative will have it verified, verified or a financial professional can take a look at it. I like that. If you're in a position, look through your parents' investments, paperwork, that sort of thing, help them make those decisions if they are getting older. If people want more information, would like to get a copy of the DVD once it's out, how do they do that? How do they support your cause? Um, they can look us up on the website, uh, on the web, uh, senseprogram.org, and that's sense, you know, like pennies, C-E-N-T-S, program.org. They can call us, 206-267-7017, or email me, tony at senseprogram.org. We would love to have people help us, you know, get this program out. If there's a community facility that you want us to teach, we'll come there, we'll give a lesson, um, we'll ship DVDs out. Um, we can also use financial support. The more financial support we have, the bigger outreach you know, effort we'll ha have across Washington State. Well, it sounds like you guys are doing something about it, and I give you credit because we've been covering it. It's a real problem in this state. Tony Leahy, thanks so much. Thank you for having me on.